S., a high priestess in a folkloric witchcraft tradition. And I've been brewing magic for a very long time now. Come on in. Let's brew some together. Hello, hello. Welcome to the House of Witchcraft. So happy to see you leaning in today on this topic. Graveyard crystals. Why, how, and what? All right, what? Because what I have found over the years is a lot of times I don't actually want to take the dirt, but that I can use a clear quartz crystal. And as you can see, I'm showing y'all, this is actually one that is charged from the cemetery. Uh, it's a raw crystal point. Before I did it, I completely cleansed it, you know, made sure that it was a good crystal. It was vibing with going to the graveyard, all right, because I wanted the energy of the graveyard. I wanted the protection of spirit realm folk. I wanted to strengthen my connection to the realm for purposes of divination, all right. I have used crystals for a general graveyard cemetery blessing. All right, I have also picked out certain graves, either energetically or particularly because of how they died. All right, uh, especially if I'm doing dark magic, any type of cursings, banishings, hexings. Uh, I'm going to look for, you know, hung by, you know, somebody who was hung, all right, uh, maybe looking for a premature death, and I'm going to put this crystal, or I may even potentially bury this crystal, which I've done, like behind the tombstone and bury it down there, leave it there for a couple of days, and then come back, and once I've done that, then it's charged according to those energies and needs to be handled as such. All right. And why would I do this? What I was talking earlier for protection purposes, mostly, and also to increase divination. Um, I really like having a general cemetery crystal, a spirit realm folk crystal that's connected. Uh, I will find a cemetery that I'm just vibing on. You know, there is no rhyme or reason to this one. And when we go to cemeteries, uh, of course, I'm not going to go too much, but I will plug in Crossroads Witchcraft, my book, I discuss different types of graveyard dirts, what we use them for, and also how to enter a cemetery or a graveyard. All right. That is, it's very important that it's done with honor, reverence, and respect. All right, whether you turn a circle three times and ask for blessings, you leave offerings at the gate of the cemetery, or you leave offerings on uh, individual gravestones. All right, it's all about honor, reverence, and respect. Uh, I typically stop at the entrance and just do a whole grounding, centering, how am I feeling? All right, and I have a sense of, okay, I'm welcome to come in. And if, yes, I do come in with gifts. I come in with bright, shiny stones and objects. I come in with coins. I may come in with children's toys. I come in with ribbons. All right. Um, maybe a little pieces of jewelry, you know. Um, together, like my little bag beforehand of things that I'm going to potentially give as offerings, you know, because it just depends on which one goes to who. And once I've gone into the graveyard, I typically have uh, some sort of an offering up where it's uh, rum and a cigar. I will pour a little rum, light the cigar, give some good breaths out, all right, and make sure that the crossroads is being open to me. Make sure that I'm feeling welcome. And then I take a stroll around the graveyard, you know. Um, it's a, it's the difference between a graveyard and a cemetery. A cemetery is attached to a church. A graveyard is not. I use the words interchangeably. But I will take a stroll around and just make sure I feel good. And then I find the grave uh, that I'm looking for. 
if I'm not looking for a grave in particular, I will find a place that feels right to put my, my crystal. And I will leave it there typically for at least overnight. Most of the time, it's either three days or five days. That's why I like to leave my crystals in the graveyard. All right. If I'm using, like I said, for any type of a dark magic work, I make sure that it goes in its own little bag and that it doesn't come around my, you know, feel good, make it loving crystals and things like that. Uh, and it stays over to the side. Typically, they stay charged for a couple of moon cycles. You have to feed it. All right. And you can feed a charged cemetery crystal. All right. With, of course, libations, which to, again, your go to is rum and the cigar. If you have another libation, if you like white wine, if you like Coca Cola in a cookie, whatever is your way, you can feed it with that. You can feed it also with graveyard dirt. Uh, you can feed it with any type of your uh, death oils. Okay. Um, and once I bring it home, I will typically sit it in a small altar space. I don't normally ever put it on like any type of a main altar unless it's a completely dark altar. Uh, it will go on its own space. Like if you see right behind me over in this corner set up is a small altar and that's set up as a dark altar area right now. And it's got some good little dark things going over there. I would sit it over with that. Uh, I would like to use this uh, for divination actually because you know what I found this is a really really good stone for if you do readings readings for folks you know they lie P clients lie I hate to say it out loud but it's just the truth honey they sit in front of you and tell you what the, you know they're the innocent one I'm the angel I have found having these stones around makes it harder for folks to lie to me <laughs> I'm telling you one of my witchy secrets, okay? I love a good graveyard crystal when I'm doing divination to put it around on my table space because it seems to make sure that the truth is told, that I hear the whole story. And that way I can really, you know, I can help the person. I'm not trying to get past the bullshit that they're giving me to the truth that spirit realm is giving me, you know, because sometimes it's conflicting messages. And so I have found these, these work great. These are so good for fine, letting spirit realm folk let you know the truth of a situation. All right. Now, after I've done this to this stone, I've used it as a graveyard stone. Can I use it for other things? Yes. I have to go through and completely cleanse it to completely cleanse it out. I would start probably on a new moon, washing it up really good with good blessings, good cleansing, good neutralizing type uh, energies, waters, herbs, oils. And it would probably let it sit under at least three new moons before I use this. This is not a just clean it up and it's done, which is, all right, you wanna make sure there ain't no residual left on it. I typically don't change my stones up. Once it's been charged, like this has been said, this is a graveyard crystal. Um, it goes in the graveyard crystal box. When I need graveyard crystals, it's pulled out. When I get that feeling up where it's time to take my crystals back over to the cemetery, I take my little box, you know, if I have a certain intention, like I said, where I'm after um, a certain type of graveyard dirt, then I know that that stone has been charged with that intention and I treat it very respectfully. All right. Okay, which is, I hope this helped you on graveyard crystals and the benefit that they can have in your magic, all right? Like, yes, it's dark magic, but this is dark magic that can be used either to heal or to harm. That is your choice, witches, all right? You have your ethics, your morals, your tenets that you live by. Hold to them, whatever they may be, and always in all your workings, no matter what, strive not to harm all right tell me what you think 
tell me if you use these type of stones and how you've been doing it of course i want to know and if you're new here welcome home welcome home the witchcraft world is a wonderful varied place i'm only one small flavor please make sure to always check out other folks other opinions and ideas all right and remember no matter what the magic is always within that's where it all starts with you so i hope you have as bright of a blessed day as i'm having and i forgot to say subscribe and hit that join button down there want to support the house of witchcraft want to lean in want to talk with me know more about what the cottage witches coven does here in san diego we have other covens as well and once a month we have a live q a chat where you get to talk to us so please support the house of witchcraft and thank you all so so much for your support and with that said may you have as bright of a blessed day as i'm having and as always amen be Ashe and Abobo.